Hi, me cuties. We're so excited to let you know that you can now binge our newest series, Influence, exclusively and ad-free on Wondery Plus. It's Meet Cute's modern adaptation of Jane Austen's Persuasion, and we know you're going to love it. I think I already found her. What? You know who she is? I know where she is. We hung out all night and you're just divulging this now? Didn't know if we needed her anymore. I mean, you're singing again, you're talking to Paige again. But Paige is still hung up on something Venus said. You heard the voicemail. So that's the missing piece. We out Venus, make her apologize, take back all that shit she said to Paige on the air, and then... You get your girl back. I get my girl back. Okay, how do we do this? Break it down for me, Q. Oh, you probably don't know James Bond. I'm Bond, you are Q, my mastermind slash right hand. I've actually seen all the Bond movies. Watson and Holmes, Pinky and the Brain. You're the dashing hero and I'm your nerdy weirdo sidekick. Parker, I get it. I really am dashing, aren't I? It's the hair, right? Like the uh, little swoop in the front. Whatever. Anyway, Venus' slot is at 11, so I'd say just show up and... um. Show up to where? The radio station, right? How did you find out where that is? You know, the radio station, it's technically part of the J school, and to say any more would compromise the unspoken ethical code of the broadcast department. Can't reveal your sources. Got it. Love it. So let's meet here at what, 1045? Oh, um... What? Don't you want to come? This is the expose of the century. Don't you want to... It'll be past my bedtime, you know, and um, you already know what you want to say to Venus. You don't need me. I do need you. No, you need Paige. Remember? Yeah, but you're really not coming? You got this. What, you don't trust me? With my life. No, I'll do you one better. I trust you with my voice. An honor. Well, good luck and, you know, text me. Let me know how it goes. You'll be asleep. Hopefully in a bed. Hopefully my bed. Once I wandered onto the set of Once Upon a Mattress and woke up to a dozen musical theater majors rehearsing on top of me. Hey, um, Ruby? Yeah? What happens after this? You and Paige right off into the sunset, obviously. And what about you and me? What What do you mean, you and me? Just because we found Venus, I mean, we'll still be friends, right? Sure, yeah. Friends. Okay, so there's the intro music, like, do-do, and then, good evening, wildcats. Good evening, wildcats. It's all in the vowels, a long gate. Good evening, wildcats. Good evening, wildcats. Great. I'm Venus. Wait, you're still good to cover my observatory shift tonight, right? Yes, of course. Do you need a primer on space, or is that- It's big, dark, scary void. I got it. This is about Venus right now. I'm Venus. I'm Venus. Connoisseur of courtship. Your connoisseur of courtship. Prince. <laughs> D, come on. It's allergies. You don't have allergies. You only sneeze when you're nervous. I'm nervous all the time, and I rarely sneeze. Specifically about public speaking. It's not public if I can't see the callers. Remember when you took acting for science majors? You had to make up a backstory about Ophelia having a cold. It gets musty in the old Danish castles, damn it. I'm Venus, your connoisseur of courtship, princess of passion, artist of ardor, And I'll be here all night helping you get some ass. Great. Perfect. Say exactly that. Okay. I'm calling Vic. Hold my hand. Hey, Vic. Bad news. I don't think I can come in tonight. Of course, my first priority is always our programming, so I found a sub. Yeah, I have rage and cramps, and I'm I'm pretty laid out, so I... Cramps. Menstrual cramps. Seriously, dude, it's like the river's a Lucifer down there. I'll, I'll prove it to you. I'll send you a photo. Mm-hmm. That's what I thought. My roommate, Daniela. Yes, yes, I already trained her. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, she's down to sign the NDA. Thank you for being such a sweetheart about this. You're the best. 
he is such an asshole. You don't have to do this. Uh Uh-huh. You're not talking me out of this. I'm team Ruby, and I'm also team Ruby and Parker. We're basically helping our crushes get together. Call it my Pisces intuition, but I'm still not sure that's what Paige wants. I heard the voicemail. It was pretty clear. That voicemail was anything but clear. Promise you won't sneeze on air? I'm ready. I've got this. I named the show, remember? Venus Rising was all me. You didn't even know what your Venus was in. I still don't know what sign my Venus is in. How do you... Oh, God, that makes me... Virgo, I've done your chart twice. Ugh, oh, one sec. Vic, I told you I'm not... Oh. Hey, Parker. Hey, Parker. Oh, caught me just in time. I was just heading to bed. Oh, right, the location, of course. Um, Do it. You swear you won't tell anyone. Swear on Shawn Mendes' career. Do it. Okay. So you know the math building with Big Dome. Hang a left. Happy February 13th, everybody. The big day is tomorrow. But will it be V-Day or D-Day? Hi, I'm Vic... I'm Daniela. I'm subbing in for... Mike's there. Telephone's there. I don't have the energy to babysit tonight. I don't have the answers, but we know who does. Lady of the hour, it's Venus! Hi. I mean, um, good evening, wildcats. You're listening to Venus, your connoisseur of courtship, princess of passion... Aquarius of Ardor. Oh, look, a call. Oh, a call. <laughs> that was so fun. Venus rising. You've got Venus. How's your heart tonight? Hey, Venus. I've got a real situation chip on my hands. Dude's at my place every night, but I can't get a text back before 2 a.m. Well, caller, as you know, I am an expert on boys. <laughs> I really think in this situation, um, mixed signals can be... There are times in matters of the heart where the answer must be found in the stars. Do you happen to know the date, time, and place of his birth? Good evening. Welcome to the observatory. Hi there. The observatory welcomes you. Hello? This is the observatory. And up there, that's space. Can't miss it. Stare into the abyss. Contemplate your insignificance and the futility of... Hey, is Daniela around? Paige, hi. Um, Daniela couldn't come in. I'm her understudy. She's really cool and had, like, four girls who wanted to take her to Margarita Mondays, so... Oh, that's okay. No worries. I'll just, um, come back. Can I help you with a telescope, or...? No, it's more a personal thing. Personal thing? I can give you her number if you want. You guys are, like, tight, right? Sale is not. Is everything okay? You know, I'm... Okay, so I always identified as Charlotte, but I think I'm more of a Samantha. That's awesome. Oh, no. I mean, like, I'm specifically season four Samantha. Remember? In season four, Samantha dates this incredibly hot Brazilian painter who's a woman. Maria? That's the season she dates Maria? I'm sorry. I'm so bad at this. No worries. I get it. Hey, thanks for trusting me. Thanks for being cool about it. Duh. I came to the observatory a few nights ago, and Daniela and I had a moment. But I freaked out because of Parker and Venus, and uh, I botched it. It was the bad nose job of dates. (laughs) I'm not sure if it even really was a date, but I really, really like her. Wait, you like her? Like Daniela? I like Daniela. Is that bad? It's, no, it, it's amazing. Amazing? Look, I know people say this all the time, but you should really talk to her. I kind of rejected her. She's probably already forgotten about me. Trust me, she hasn't. Hey, can I ask you something? I'm not judging, just wondering. Didn't you call Parker last night and tell him you can't think straight without him something, something, you want to get back together and you want to talk? Um, I told him I don't think I'm straight and that I don't think it's a good idea for us to get back together. 
Oh, God. And like, do I agree with Venus and all her bullshit? No, she's honestly made my life that much more difficult lately. Uh, oh, yeah, no. Venus is the worst. But is Parker making the situation 100 billion times more worse? Yes. Wait a sec. How did you know about that phone call? Oh, you know Parker. He's been shouting it from the rooftops. Maybe you should talk to him. But you should definitely, definitely talk to Daniela. Are you sure she hasn't given up on me? Cross my heart. Um, I'm so sorry, but I actually have to run and, um, handle something. Oh, totally. Thanks, Ruby. For real. You give really great advice. That's what they tell me. Siri, text Daniela. Okay. Dictating text message to Daniela. Monkey emoji, dancing girls emoji. D, period. Abort mission, period. Just so page. by a certain quote-unquote love expert. My girlfriend traded in a lifetime of love for a MeUndies sponsorship. <laughs> Francis Brzezinski. I've never been in love. I just hate seeing everyone in so much pain. We cannot allow this plague of heartbreak to rage on unchecked. I know where Venus broadcasts from, and I'm ready to take her down. Oh, I will ruin you, Parker Keys. But I can't do it alone. Are you with me? Yeah! Yeah! Yeah. Our show might be Venus rising, but tonight, Venus goes down! Uh, Venus descent. Venus plummets. No, Venus falls! Venus falls! Venus falls! Venus falls! D, period. I'm on my way, period. Caps lock. Get off the mic, period. Hide, period. Send. Venus false. Venus false. Venus false. Oh, wow, okay. And here's a sad Venus. Girl, if I designed a fuckboy chart, this is what it would look like. I have one word for you. Run. Venus Rising, you've got Venus. May I have your date, time, and place of birth? Date, February 13th. Time, Venus Falls O'Clock. Oh. Hey, Parker. I had a feeling I'd be hearing from you. Oh, you're hearing from me. And all of the jilted lovers who have been victimized by your tyranny. And we're closing in on you. Your reign of terror ends tonight. Do you hear that, Venus? That's the sweet, sweet sound of justice about to be served. D, hang up. You gotta get out of there. They can't think it's you. I'm all for justice, Parker. Hang up. But in the immortal words of Madonna, I'm hanging up on you. Ruby, oh my God, what is going on? Who are all these people? Parker told. He told everyone, and then he assembled this douchebag army to out Venus and ruin her life. And right now, you're Venus, and it's your life. So I need you to step away from that microphone. What the hell is going on out there? R- Ruby! Uh, if you're bleeding, step away from my equipment. Diva Cup, Vic. Ever heard of it? Did your little friend here give someone our location? Her name is Daniela, and no. Parker must have figured it out somehow. Make yourself useful and hold them off, okay? I don't take orders from you! Your station, your funeral. They're pissed, and I'm not going to let them take it out on you. The whole school will hate you. I'm a big girl. I can take it. You shouldn't have to. And I just talked to Paige. You talked to Paige? She came to the observatory, looking for you. She's a baby queer, and she's scared, but she likes you, Dee. Like, likes you, likes you. She said that? Oh. Pisces intuition. Her literal words. But she thinks Venus is full of shit, and if we commit to this bit, it'll wreck your chances with her. I know it. But... You and Parker... There is no me and Parker. Are you kidding me? I'm not going to date someone who rallied all these people to cancel me. No matter how much I... And anyway, he's never going to think of me that way, because he'll never get over Paige. Look, I don't care about him. I care about you. Wait, where did they go? I don't know. Vic probably scared them off, but... Ruby. No, I'm serious. This isn't your mess to clean up. It's mine. And I am not letting you take the fall for me. Ruby... 
behind you. Seriously, Dee, you have to hide now. I'm willing to suffer the consequences. I don't give a shit if I get cancelled. Nobody liked me before this, anyway. Uh, hey, Ruby. Wanna tell me what the hell is going on? 